I'm um, super excited to show you guys this. I got my hands on a sample can of Surmark Ultra. If you're not familiar with Surmark Ultra, uh, it's a new formula that they came out with. It's an all-in-one can, good for marking metal, glass, ceramic, whatever it is that you want to basically engrave on, you can. This kind of stands in for the LMM6000 and the LM14, uh, where before it was two products, and now with Surmark Ultra, it's combined into one. I'm gonna be engraving a few metal grinders and a few glass chillums. These are pretty simple. Uh, we're just gonna be engraving the top of the grinders here, and then the side of the chillums here. I'm going to prep these pieces as usual. I've never used this stuff before. This is the first time using the Surmark Ultra Maiden Voyage, so we'll see how it turns out. So as usual, rubbing alcohol to clean our surfaces. We wanna make sure that we get all the dirt and oil off. When these are done, they're gonna be sent out to a few of the victims of the recent California wildfires, um, to people who have been affected and who have lost their farms and in some cases have lost their homes. So these are for them. And now that the pieces are prepped and ready to go, we will go outside to spray. For the purpose of full disclosure, this was my first time using this can. So I didn't properly prime the nozzle. So when I first opened it, it was giving me some issues with a little bit of sputtering and stuff. That's completely normal with any spray can. So we'll just fast forward through this. I would recommend doing this in a well-ventilated area. If you can do it outside, great. If not, then um, just make sure that it's, it's well-ventilated. So the new cans, supposed to have a different um, aerosol, like a different spraying mechanism. The old cans you had used to invert it and then clear out the spray before. This one you're not supposed to or you don't have to do that. So I just want to give it a shake. in the formula which is good for um, the dry time so you're still gonna have a quick dry time on it but yeah you can see it sprays black it's going to kind of dry as like a matte good coverage with one coat so now we're gonna head back inside. I should note here that with anything, you should always test if possible. Different lasers are gonna vary depending on your wattage, whether or not it's metal tube, glass tube, whatever. So on this, I ended up getting a much more saturated look. This was a little bit um, for me, but it still turned out super awesome in the end. 